I got you a little gift. It's small. Did you give me an ice scraper again? <laughs> Hi, babe. Love you. She has no idea. What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. Today is an awesome video. In celebration of Valentine's Day, we are going to be surprising my wife with what I define as one of the most extreme Valentine's Day gifts ever. We're in her 2019 JLU Jeep Wrangler after dropping her off at work for what is the reason that I just wanted to spend time with her for Valentine's Day. We both work, so life gets a little hectic and we really don't get all that much time together one-on-one -on -one other than the occasional date night. So I said, hey, let's enjoy our coffees this morning morning together. I'll bring you to work. I'll pick you up and we'll get some alone time before we pick our little guy up from daycare. Little does she know, we are going to actually outfit her entire Jeep with floral design. And we are going to surprise her with it when we pick her up from work. Before we go any further and get this surprise underway, the wife's Jeep is absolutely filthy. So we stopped over at the car wash real quick to get this thing cleaned up. It's definitely not perfect, but it's way better than it was. And all things considered for being 12 degrees, I'm gonna take it because I can still feel my hands. All right, so let me give you guys a little bit of backstory. Four years ago, I made the biggest Valentine's Day mistake of my entire life. I bought my wife a gift that I thought that she would love. I bought her, and it was red, mind you, so I felt like it was fitting for Valentine's Day. It was a gift that I thought would inspire form and function. It would be memorable. And of course, it was inspired by the fact that I am an automotive enthusiast and car things to me are very important. I bought her a nice scraper. Did you give me an ice scraper again? I thought it was a great idea. Look, I was fickle-minded at the time. I was a little naive. I looked at it as one of those gifts that keeps on giving, being that we live in the climate that we do and we get a lot of snow. It didn't go over well. And I still think that I'm really trying to find my way out of the doghouse on that one. So hopefully this big surprise makes up for that. Now, the crazy thing is we're really doing a lot and we're already somewhat against the clock because I have to pick her up in just a few hours. So I planned something very extreme. We are going to completely outfit my wife's Jeep with floral design. This is a Lancaster-based business. And if there's one thing that I'm really passionate about, not only is it diesel trucks, but it's working with other small businesses in the Lancaster County area. Jill, the owner, is equally, if not more passionate about flowers and creating that experience as I am with building diesel trucks, giving you a chance to take them home. We're about to jump inside right now and get this whole process started, guys. I'm so stoked. I hope my wife loves it. Guys, I really don't want to rush perfection, but we really don't have all that much time left, and there's still so many flowers that need to go in this thing. Oh, I'm starting to get so stressed. All right, guys, they're literally putting their finishing touches on this project right now, and it's coming out absolutely incredible. Floral design truly living up to their name. Unfortunately, I've completely run out of time. I have to go get my wife from work. So, Jake, I'm leaving it up to you to get it back to the house, man. I will try my best. You got this, brother. This is going to be an incredible surprise. I'm excited. I brought you a little something for Valentine's Day. Oh. It's just a little something. And we had told you I wasn't going to go crazy this year. Where'd you get this truck? This is a new truck. You haven't seen this one yet, so I wanted to pick you up in it. All right, dude, Jake literally just got the Jeep back. We're gonna just tell mom that he washed it up, okay? She has no idea. It's gonna be amazing. You remember how I got you a uh, ice scraper like four years ago for Valentine's Day? Yeah. And you haven't let me live that down since you bring it up <laughs> every February 14th of what every year. What are you guys year. doing right now? <laughs> well, I got you a little gift. It's small and it's inside the Jeep. And hopefully it makes up for it. Did you give me an ice scraper again? <laughs> it's just a bigger ice scraper. Did you hear time. about that ice scraper? It's got a wider blade. Jake, did you clean my car? I did clean your car. I noticed. Well, I was really dirty. It was that, really that's dirty. That's kind of somewhat part of your surprise. It's like a little, 
component of it. That's already better than an ice scraper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock the ice scraper, it was practical. <laughs> is this eucalyptus? Does it have a scent? Is it inside my scraper? It is. Holy crap! Oh my god! What the? How did you do that? <laughs> make a beautiful jungle! Oh, look at this! Happy Valentine's Day, babe! And it decided to completely flood your Jeep with flowers. Oh my god, the back too? Oh my god, look at how beautiful. It's like better than our wedding. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that's way better than an ice scraper. Yay, look did it. she like it? Look, Jack. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I love you. What do you think, guys? Modification. Do you love it? It's fantastic. Jack loves it. How'd it feel driving? Quite jungly. Jungly? Extremely jungly. Happy Valentine's um, Day, Jake. Happy Valentine's Day to me. <laughs> this is so beautiful. So this is kind of my way yeah. of hopefully getting myself out of the doghouse. <laughs> Five years later. It took a little bit of time, but hopefully this is extreme enough to Beautiful. Maybe I could reset your memory and Who got that way I don't have to hear about ice scrapers every Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, I love it. The hydrangeas, the roses. They're hydrangeas, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, the greenery. Oh, Rose petals yes. across the entire dash all over your seat. Purple flowers in there because you absolutely love purple. You White complements purple so well, so I figured that that was perfect. You are a romantic. I figured the roses were kind of a little cheesy, somewhat soft, but I love it. say a lot about Valentine's Day. Oh and gosh. we kind of didn't do this ourselves either. Yeah, well, no, duh, Jack. I couldn't <laughs> See, she knows I'm not capable of these kinds of things. <laughs> Who did you have help you? Your best friend Jill of Floral Designs. Oh my god, I love her. She was her. in on the secret the entire time. Oh, she is the sweetest human being ever. She literally, I told her the idea and she was like, I love it. Wait, We're you asked me it. for her phone number because her husband's a contractor. The truth is out. <laughs> <laughs> I believed you. <laughs> oh, yay. She's the most amazing, talented ever. They literally yes. spent two and a half hours setting your Jeep up like this. Oh, look, Jack. Daddy loves me. Woohoo! Oh my god, it's so... We gotta keep these flowers somehow. Aren't they amazing? They literally have rose petals everywhere. Oh my gosh, I love this. They so picked much. an entire bouquet of roses apart just to put them all over the place. Oh, it's like a dream. Valentine's Day Hallmark so movie. Amazing. Jeep edition. So happy Valentine's Day, babe. I love Jill. I love Jill. <laughs> oh, I mean Jack. <laughs> so I actually, I wanted to tell everyone that's watching this video, there's kind of like a moral to my story of this. My challenge to all of you watching this video is if you have somebody that you love, that you care about, uh, that you care for, and that you want to make feel very special, you don't have to go out as far as like literally decking out their entire vehicle with more flowers than you'd even know what to do with. But I do challenge you after you exit this video to do something small for the people that you love. And you're seeing this video on Valentine's Day. This is like a small little fun way to have fun and intertwine vehicles with my family who I love very much. But I also want to see you guys take that out in your lives. So gift card, coffee, flowers, Candle. chocolates, candles, little things. Guys, even cards can go a super long way, more than you can even fathom in your own mind. So that's my challenge to you. Do something small. It will really make a big impact on somebody that you really care about. Thank you. You're welcome. Give Happy Valentine's Day, love. <laughs> oh, you want a kiss? Sorry, I thought we were hugging. Ah, uh, yes. Love you. Oh, I love you. You. Yay, Bubba. Welcome to the jungle. Mario, what are you doing, buddy? What do you think of these roses, huh? All right, man. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys, too. Ah, yes, guys. Mission accomplished. Success! We did it. And we surprised my wife for Valentine's Day. And hopefully, fingers crossed for me, guys, she forgets the ice scraper one. Never. She forgets the ice scraper gift. Who knows? We'll see. But I seriously challenge you to do something small and special for your significant other. Even if it's after Valentine's Day now, those little things go a really, really long way. 
I also really want to say thank you again to Floral Designs out of Mountjoy, Pennsylvania for doing an absolutely fantastic job with this surprise. They crushed it. I had walked in there, I'm like, all right, I have kind of a crazy idea. We'll see how well they entertain it. Jill, the owner, ran with it, did an amazing job, and we can't thank you enough for creating a very, very special memory. So that being said, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Tap the notification bell and the thumbs up if you haven't already, and grab some 10 times entries for Dream Diesel giveaway number 16. A 2019 Ram Limited Cummins and $15,000 cash could be yours.